Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Carly Nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. It has been an ongoing request to talk about what do I have on this shelf. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about what it is. What do I have? I break them down according to notes or sections. So there's amber, there's nutty fragrances, coconut fragrances, chocolate, Middle Eastern, so forth, so on. So we're going to slowly go through them, or should I say video to video, I'm going to break them down to the ones that I have in each section. So for everyone who has asked, what do you have in your collection, Claudia? These videos are for you. All right, so let's jump into caramel. I hope you all are enjoying this series. Uh, that it is actually telling y'all a lot of what is in my collection. This has actually been quite informative for me to go through my collection. But let's jump into Caramel. I have Viva Delicions. With Viva Delicions, you're going to get lavender and mint. It's going to be in that opening, but then it quickly turns into this yummy, cherry, tonka bean type scent. But the commit caramel note in it is very strong like it's caramel and praline i really could have put this with my pralines but i put the caramel and pralines right by each other anyway uh so it fits perfectly so if you're into caramel fragrances then viva delicions is a good one to get my next one is going to be let me see make sure you all can see it before i put it down this is Dolce Gabbana's The Only One. With this one here, you're going to get velvet orange, a bit of coffee note to it, but it has this gorgeous caramel vanilla blend. Uh, it smells actually more expensive than it really is, so I can truly see why when it first came out, it was all the rave. Uh, this is a gorgeous one. It has a bit of orange blossom to it great if the, if you want to start off with a fragrance in caramel but don't want to spend big bucks like say for viva delicious yet then the only one would be a good one to start off with i have another one by josette let's see make sure you can see it and it is gourmand bacor this was the first one of the josette line that i got into with this one, you get like a caramel milk, almost. This is more caramel Matiago. You always hear people describe a fragrance as the um, coffee one. This one is like that. Um, caramel milk, it has uh, another dose of caramel with a bit of like a smokiness to it and, and toffee. I don't really get um, a lot of Bacor in it it does have a bit of smokiness to it but i get more caramel matter of fact a lot of caramel in it so that makes it to me more of a caramel fragrance than a incense fragrance now this one here is one uh i think that everyone starts off in their collection with and that is bonbon Bon Bon is such a really cute fragrance, right? <laughs> I mean, just look at the package. It is a bow, right? But in it is peach, mandarin, orange. And even though there's a caramel note to it, to me, this is more of a citrus caramel. Um, my daughter happens to really like this one. So this is another one that we share whenever she wants to wear a fragrance. Um, it's okay for her to grab this one bonbon out of my collection. To be truthfully honest, I think that it made it, it's been sitting on my shelf. And then after I feel like mm, it's not for me, it sits on her shelf. So it goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? Uh, eventually, I think we're going to finish the bottle. And this might not be one that I'll purchase again. Matter of fact, I know that I probably wouldn't purchase this one again. Uh, there's a lot of fragrances that I think are a little bit better than Bonbon. But it's not worthy enough for me to put on the chopping block. 
Now, this is a newer one to my collection. If you have not got into Cambridge Club, I don't know what you're waiting on because this is amazing, right? This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think everyone should get Cambridge Club in their collection at some point. Uh, think of Bulgarian Rose. It's a gorgeous rose fragrance along with this bourbon vanilla note. And then right in that base is where you get the caramel. Uh, it's such a sexy fragrance that it really, out of all the ones that I have, I want to say if I was ranking them, then Viva Delici Deliciance and then Cambridge Club would come in. And then I would, uh, if I just wanted more, something more affordable, I think I would go with uh, the only one. But it's a really good fragrance. If you don't have Cambridge Club in your collection, I think that you at least need to go out and get a sample of it. And to round off my caramel fragrances, um, it's, Le it's uh, Lyra, right? Lyra, uh, some people love it, some people not so much because Lyra is a caramel strong heavy scent right so with this one here you get so much caramel in it i can see that it can become a bit uh clawing to folks but it's gorgeous right but um blood orange cinnamon uh there's a licorice note in it that when i first got lyra i just did not like but then after a while that licorice note kind of died out as it macerated on my shelf and I got more caramel, vanilla, and musk. But you have to like caramel. All right, so with praline, I only really have three of praline uh, fragrances and these are the three that I absolutely like. Um, I've had, I had more than these three, then I end up just start taking them out of my collection because praline can get really, really sticky, like a really sticky note, right? But these are my three favorites. So my first one is going to be New, uh, New Orleans by City Rhythms. Yes, I'm a tad bit biased because I'm from New Orleans, but this actually was absolutely amazing. The praline in here is so edible. It's so delicious, so edible. It's, it's, it's such a nice scent. He really could have named it anything but jazz and booze because that's really what it is, right? There's a lot of fruity openings in it. You're going to get cherry, rhubarb, raspberry, and a that jackfruit note was actually quite surprising, but good, right? But then you're going to get this praline, and it reminded me just of New Orleans, like praline candy, right? You get this butter praline with tonka bean in it. And it's a breadiness to it, so it, it reminds you of, like, king cake. Uh, the smokiness of the club scene, because you're going to get tobacco, vanilla, amber, and musk in it. That's This one here, I am absolutely in love. I'm in love with this one. And that is New Orleans by City Rhythms. This is where the bonbon note came, comes from, right? So this is called Bonbon La Emily. Emily is the perfumer who put the praline note, who made the praline note that went into New Orleans. So of course I had to get the original Bonbon note, right? The, the praline type note. So with this one here, it's a lot of praline. So you're going to get creamy pecan praline, a nuttiness to it uh orange blossom and then there's a smoky vanilla note you have to like praline to do to wear this you have to like praline and you have to be into a, a sweet heavy scent if not then like uh la bonds de emily will become so strong on your skin but if you like uh praline like i like praline then that fragrance would be right up your alley. Okay, so now to round off my praline collection, I have by Scent of Woods, Praline and Maple. This is 
really pretty. It's really pretty. This is the first like black pepper fragrance that I have in my collection that I didn't end up getting rid of because black pepper can be a tad bit too spicy for me. Uh, but the way that they blended the black pepper, the pink pepper and that clove gave it such a spicy funness to it, right? On top of the fact that they blended in praline and chestnut. So uh, then when you think, okay, well, this is going to be a real spicy praline fragrance, then it goes into this Gayak wood and center wood. So it's such a involving fragrance. Praline and maple. It's and and then it's is uh masqueraded in macerated should I mean should I say in a maple like a maple uh bucket uh great if you haven't got into scent of woods and I want to say that I've done a video for scent of woods and I'll make sure that I put it in the cards where you can uh see all the scent of wood fragrances that I have in my collection and if you're interested in more scent of woods like for me to do a a personal video just on scent of woods then make sure you put it in the comments and i'll i'll put that together for you but this rounds off my praline i have them connected to my uh caramel fragrances because i find that they all kind of blend together so i just put them all on the shelf in the same section All right, so let's talk about vanilla. For me, vanilla is, I broke down, vanilla is really in a lot of fragrances, but I broke down the ones where they were vanilla heavy, right? Or something of the sort. So my first one I'm gonna do is going to be, uh, let's see if I can get it to you. This is gonna be Caldor Gourmand. This one is like a spicy vanilla. Um, I'm really trying to figure out what category this would fit in. Uh, so I put it under spicy vanilla, uh, because it, that wood, that woody note that's in it and the vanilla and caramel, sometimes the wood note on my skin takes over. So it becomes a really heavy, thick, woody note with some vanilla. So this is going to probably be worn mostly around the colder season. Uh, but I do have it in the category with vanilla. And then I have three Manceras. So my first Mancera is going to be uh, Velvet Vanilla. Velvet Vanilla is a like fruity, op it has a fruity opening to it. I absolutely love Velvet Vanilla. I know that it's coming to a point where a lot of people are kind of tired of it. I, I still enjoy it. It has a uh, pear and black currant in it, but the pink pepper note and orange and clove that's in it makes it has gives it more body but that fruity opening or that's you know is what keeps me so interested in this uh it's more rose than tuberose but both uh rose and tuberose is in this fragrance and i love a good white musk so velvet uh vanilla i think will always stay in my collection even when everyone stops wearing it my next one is going to be whenever I'm just looking for a nice vanilla note, but with a bit of like darkness to it, then I go with Black Vanilla by Mancera, and that's black currant, peach, and coconut. But what makes it more like a dark vanilla is because the jasmine and rose blend that they have in it takes it to another level with that patchouli. Right. So yes, vanilla's in it, and you find that vanilla's in a lot of fragrances as a base. But the way that they vented this one with that that Egyptian uh, jasmine and then that Bulgarian rose, and then they put a touch of violet. So it it, it has almost like a very slight powdery base, not a lipstick um, uh, powdery, but like a very slight powdery base to it. And that's black vanilla. My last one I have that's a Mancera is Roses Vanille, right? So a lot of people talk about Roses Vanille, so I'm not gonna really get too deep into it. Uh, you probably have heard a lot about it, but if you haven't, it's lemon, it's rose, it's sugar, it's a lot of sugar, uh, vanilla and white musk. It's a very pleasantly sweet scent. 
Rose's Vanille actually is very similar to so many fragrances. Uh, I believe that if you have uh, LaBelle, then you don't really need this one. If you have um, Viva La Combe, I don't think you need this one. Uh, I'll even say that if you have uh, Love Don't Be Shy, I don't think that you need Rose's Vanille. Uh, it's it's going to be in my collection until I use it up. And then after that, then I probably won't repurchase it again because like I mentioned, I have so many similarities in my collection. I'm trying my hardest not to have redundancy. To um, And we talked about LaBelle. So I do have LaBelle so, uh, in my collection. Love it. They don't tell you enough about this fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous of a fragrance. Beautiful fragrance. Uh, packaging is top tier. The, uh, what I know of the fragrance is pear, bergamot, and a bit of floral notes. There's a leather base to it. It has some amber and musk blend in it. Uh, but the vanilla note in it is such a sexy vanilla. Not a sticky vanilla, but like a sexy vanilla. So... Of all the fragrances that I have, if I just was going out, I, I, I'm going to pick LaBelle. I'm going to go out with LaBelle each and every time. Uh, it's just an easy reach for me. If you're looking for a fragrance to layer, then you have to add Vanilla 28 to your collection. And as you're seeing, these fragrances are so dark and delicious. And that's what... Uh, vanilla does. Vanilla starts off like this nice little pale uh, color, like a pale orangey type color, right? Very amber-like. But once it's it macerates, it becomes this dark goldenness. And once it gets to that stage, it's amazing. So Viva Twenty, uh, Viva Vanilla Twenty Eight for me by Kaali is just a layering fragrance. I take it and I layer it with anything I want to add more vanilla to it. Uh, the notes in it with the brown sugar, the tonka bean, and then the vanilla orchid. So it's like the flower of the vanilla in it. It's, it's so pretty. It works to enhance any fragrance to add more vanilla to it. And to round off my vanilla section, I have a fragrance that is not even being made anymore. So I don't often talk about this one very much because you can't really find it, right? The, the body shop uh, does not make this one anymore and it's sweetening, a sweetening. Uh, but it, it, was a, it was one of their better ones, right? So it's bitter orange, green mandarin, bergamot, orange blossom, beeswax, mahogany, and vanilla and benzoin it was a really good fragrance so i was able to right before they officially stopped selling it and if they do, are selling it right now this is the original packaging and sometimes i find with the originals they are so much better than the remake so if you are saying no claudia they do still sell it it's probably not like this one because when this one came out it was thick it was nice it was golden like a golden vanilla loaf and that green mandarin even though it was a green mandarin it wasn't a green fragrance it was still like this wonderful orangey vanilla fragrance so i really did enjoy this one all right i hope you have enjoyed it so far we only went over uh probably just one category in this video i make sure that i list right here what it is that we were talking about if you know of more fragrances that I probably need to add to my collection, or you have some fragrances that fit into this category that I haven't talked about yet, put it in the comments and let everybody else know what is in your collection. Again, this is a video to let everyone know. I'm doing several videos to what is behind me. That has been the burning question. What is behind you, Claudia? So we're going to talk about it. Stay tuned because I'm going to continue going with these type of videos. See you in the next video.